first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT 22 News, first in the morning. Welcome back. It's hugely popular. The Notre Dame Film Festival is going is coming up in uh, in a few days, and it's always packed house. Absolutely. Uh, I am with Leslie Stevenson, one of the directors of the film. Tell me a little bit about the film that you directed and created. Absolutely. So my partner and I, Brian Lack, worked on a film called Cold Open. It's about seven minutes long and we produced it together in our intermediate filmmaking class at Notre Dame. It's about an actor who has been out of work for a while, so he's trying to get back in the business and he gets a cut for an audition to go and perform it, but it's not a very well-written cut, so he is not really sure how to perform it the right way and ends up going through a series of events that help him try to figure out how is he going to perform this for the audition. And you said it's about 12 minutes long. Mine's about 7, no, but they range seven. from 7 to 15 in the festival. So what, you created this film that's 7 minutes mm -hmm. long. How do you think that compares to, you know, some of the stuff we see in the theater or at other film festivals? Sure, well definitely working on a film, even just a short one, has given me a huge appreciation <laughs> for what people go through to make a full-length feature film. For us, of course, we're students, so we're full-time students, and then we become full-time filmmakers in a certain sense. So we'll go to school for maybe five hours, and then all of a sudden we're also shooting for seven or eight hours per day. It's very difficult to do, but a lot of fun. And it, it appears that what we're looking at here is, w yes. is, is the film that you guys created. Absolutely. That's my best friend, Jacob Shrimp. He is a film television theater major as well at Notre Dame, also a junior. Uh, and then Emmy Shane Bauer is a freshman at Notre Dame. We hope that she's a film major, but we'll see if that <laughs> plays out the way we want it to. Uh, we shot this in downtown South Bend on one of the coldest nights of l in uh, November. Uh, so you can see that there's a lot of snow, and uh, it was a little bit difficult for them to pull off this running sequence, but we had a lot of fun shooting it. So a seven-minute film had mm -hmm. to take, how long would you estimate, you know, if you put everything together? Oh, gosh. Well, we spent our whole semester doing it. This okay. is the only project that we worked on for the entire semester. So we spent the first few weeks sort of figuring out the script, figuring out what we wanted to do, how we wanted to shoot it, and then spent the weeks in between our fall break and Thanksgiving really just coming together and working very hard every day to shoot it and get it done. So we shot probably... I don't know, maybe 10 days for between six to eight hours every day wow. to get it finished and then edited for two weeks. Okay, so your film is about that, but mm -hmm. what are some of the other films about? Because how many total are there? There are 11 total in the film festival, so people who come will get a really wide range of, of mm. options. We have things from our uh, introduction course as well as our advanced course and then also from the documentary class. So you'll see things about the Robinson Shakespeare Learning Center, for example, and the afternoon programs there for children. So there's a lot of different... Uh, options for everybody who's interested in narrative films as well as nonfiction films. This is the website. Yes. If people want more information, what's the address to that website? That should be on ftt.nd.edu and they can go look at all of the films that are there and get a little synopsis of each one. And if people want to go to the film festival, when is it? It is this week, so I'm really excited about this. It's coming <laughs> up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The Thursday showing is at 7 p.m. and then Friday, Saturday, we've got 6.30 and 9.30. People can get tickets online or uh, they can come to the door and get tickets as well. Does it sell out? Frequently it does. Yeah. So going online is not a bad idea. You can go to performingarts.nd.edu to get to the DeBartolo Performing Arts Center um, and get tickets there. If they can't make it and they want to see some of these films, mm -hmm. can you get them online? Definitely. Well, we hope that everybody comes to the actual showing because they'll be able to vote on our Audience Choice Award winner. Uh, you definitely can check them out on YouTube as well, and that would be on ftt.nd.edu. Awesome. Thank you so much, Thank Leslie. You. It was wonderful to talk to you. Good luck to you. Thank you very Hopefully much. Hopefully a career in film and we'll see. in the future. I hope so. I hope so. This is a great starting point for me. I'm very excited about it and honored to be a part of it. Good luck. We're rooting for you. Thank you so much.